How's it going guys? Welcome back to Mr. Hop's Playhouse 2. Huge thank you to Moonbit Studio for a hookup and an early look at the full game. We can actually pick up right where we left off in that demo. So now we can carry on. That'll be part one. This is part two. Coins? I could I could grab up some coinage. Save up a little dollars, buy ourselves a little something nice. Maybe a doll that isn't possessed and evil. You know, that's somewhere on the list of priorities. This has us back at the start of the game. I'll play through, I'll keep an eye out for things that are different, just in case. There's a coin at the top of the stairs here. Found my second coin. Oh, something totally flashes on the screen there for like a half second. I don't remember catching that last time. In one of these rooms on like the same floor as your room, the same one with the vinyl records, we have a coin up top here. I kind of remember having to push things around in this room last time. I just don't remember what it was I would have been attempting to collect. Downstairs in the kitchen, beyond Mr. Hop, we got one more coin. While going through this, uh, the six, the third chapter here in like this nightmare, down on the bottom floor, off to the right, the far right hand room there, one more coin, which puts us up to, I can't check right now, but that's like, that's like four or five. It's a lot easier to move through all this when you kind of like, know where I things are, know what's coming. The whole house is burnt down. I kind of have to assume that in some way this is meant to connect up with like the fire starter ending, right? I might not have s explicitly stated that last time. I really had vi oh, there's that flash of something again. Uh, I really had very little regard for my my health here. I took so much damage. You know, that makes me think that Esther is kind of haunting Ruby in the first game in like that next generation. So is that coming the generation before whoever the previous owner was? Like you're just kind of destined to carry that forward and always haunt Mr. Hops or to, to add whether you're replacing or you're adding unclear Molly What do those symbols mean and why do I keep seeing them? I believe the way this sort of played out in the demo is you start this chapter and it's cut short quite abruptly So we're, we're back on track here didn't take didn't take long at all Look for Molly and Isaac Upstairs, bathroom off to the left, one more coin brings us up to six. And again on the top floor here, somewhere in the middle, more off to the right, one more coin on the table. Far right of the top floor, there's a there's a bedroom here, like kind of like a, a master suite, I guess it would be. <laughs> up to eight coins, don't know what they're for, but I obviously want them all. There's no way in which I'm not going to try and collect every single one. Now I'm committed. This is everything I'm all about as a child, as a YouTuber, as an every fiber of my being. All I care abo about anymore is get coins. There you guys are. Molly, you put Mr. Hop in the kitchen last night and got me in trouble. What? That wasn't me. Why would I go anywhere near Mr. Hop when I have Miss Bo? Are you sure you weren't just sleepwalking? You know, maybe if you didn't act like such a princess and tried to be nice, we all might actually like you. Telling off Molly, accusing her of, of maybe stashing away apologize. Mr. Hop. In the library. Hey, Hi there. Have you Billy. seen Molly anywhere? I'll tell you where she is if you get my ball back from the storage room. Miss Beverly confiscated it. Uh, are you serious? You know we're not allowed in that part of the house. Well, I guess you don't want to know where Molly is then. Okay, fine. Billy, you SOB. I mean, at that point, I might as well just go, I just keep looking for myself. You're setting me up here. I'm already in her bad books. Why would you do this to me? So this, I think, is like a new objective, a totally separate branching point. There's like a pretty legitimate concern. Oh, that thing in the top is like telling me how far I am from the objective. That's crazy useful. How did I not understand that that's, that's what it was helping me with last time? That's, that's a great. I don't like the fact that it's tracking how loud I'm being because that really makes me think that, yeah, things are trying to out to get me. 
Aside from being a prestigious attraction for tourists during the summer, Blacklands Manor is currently operating as a large orphanage estate. Many of the children that reside here have lost their parents or were given up under the circumstance of war. Built in the 1600s, many of the locals worked on the surrounding land of Blacklands, a town with a dark history. Do you guys have a dark history of uh, malevolent rabbits? Anything like that? <laughs> That's kind of... Alright, I, I just have to worry about the matrons more so than I do like Mr. Hops or anything. I think. I think. <laughs> I was going to see if I could just like... St same speed ahead. Just walk right up behind. Because I don't think I can like climb into that box or anything. I'm... I'm... Oh, ah. She had to come back, didn't she? Well, I didn't really see anywhere to... Cr I, I guess I could try and crouch and hide behind, like, a box. The first game, you could, like, crouch behind, like, uh, like furniture and things. So if I, if I went like this... <laughs> come on, I'm right squarely behind it. I could interact... I, I thought I could interact with the light. I was going to turn the lights out on here. That seemed like it, it would be cool. Not gonna happen. Time to explore elsewhere. Nope, it really- that's- like, that, that's the room I need to go to. Now I'm wondering, can I actively cause a ruckus outside of the room? Something that would lure them away. That they would feel like, oh, I guess I have to go check on these damn kids. I'm exploring, like, the remainder of the house, mostly this bottom floor. Ah, damn it, I... I'm stuck so quickly. Like it really makes me think I'm I'm meant to be able to interact with one of these boxes or something. Crouch and hide. This might work. Oh, I've just been hiding behind the wrong box this whole time. Oh, damn it. While she's distracted? Nope. <laughs> That's not it. Maybe she's putting something in the box. That I can then interact with. Nope. Wish it were that simple. This does not seem like a hiding spot. <laughs> the only theory I have is walking like directly behind the second that she gets moving and I have to kind of outpace her. Oh, oh, that's what I was trying to do. And I'm kind of shocked it worked. But I'm, <laughs> I'm glad to have at least one thing figured out. I feel like I might need that stool, but I'm also kind of terrified to try to drag it along with me because uh, I don't want to have to do that section 30 more times. That was enough. I maybe didn't quite do it 30, but I did it plenty. That is the exact coat rack from the front entrance of the first game. And I don't think that's like an intended reference. I think it's just reusing an asset. Why not? Might as well. But I recently just touched up a, an old video to re-upload to the Two Left Thumbs channel from this one, took it down, no longer here, and I, it's just something, so I've, I've replayed that very recently. All do not allow the American boy to have a football. Kicking it around indoors is unacceptable. So Billy, Billy's the American boy. Mm, no, I couldn't go in that room just yet. That looked like mean old Bev. Although, she does seem distracted. <laughs> I, I assume I'll get caught if I do anything in here. Knock over the statue, maybe, but then hide? There we go. This is the sort of strategy I was trying to, like, perform in the other in the other part of the game. Just a second ago there. Ugh, dang it, I don't have to sneak past the first one again, do I? I don't! That's very forgiving of the game. Thank you, game. So as soon as you walk by, I'm rocking on out of here. Yep. See ya. Ah! You might, you might, you gotta pick up the heels a little bit. Gotta go knock over the other one after that. It's so tempting to go, I, I, I'm, I'm even gonna scoot a little bit further to the right. Just that extra little bit might actually matter. Uh, running. <laughs> Damn it. I don't know how I'll possibly... Get that coin. Might be a different, might be a different point in time that you're supposed to go, go trying for it. Wild out, she instantly knows it's me. Place it back. 
Oh, there's totally the key up top there. This seems like it won't really do me any good to bring her over to where I am. Walk away. Walk away. <laughs> I don't really know. That's that's going to take like many back and forths, isn't it? All right. All right. New new attempt. Run for it. Push. Pu push. Damn it. That's mm, I think that's the right idea. Two pushes and then go crouch again. <laughs> It's a just a garbage hiding spot. <laughs> All right, Splinter Cell, Sam Fisher. This is it. Sam S, sir. It almost makes sense. I don't. I think two pushes is is pushing it. I don't think I'm gonna fit two in. Oh, that's a borderline hide. Still counted. One push. One push. Two push. Red push. Blue push. Damn it. The second she sits down. But, oh, here's here's the new theory I'm working on, huh? It's too quick. Too, shouldn't have done it then. I was going to run back across and make it, ha like, have her running all over the place and give myself that extra second of time. Seconds, all important. Damn you, lady. Damn you like a rabbit down to hell. All right. I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna worry about all the, the the stool pushing or anything. The number one thing right now is just running back to the other side. Uh, there, she's grabbing it. Push it. Ah, uh, damn you! Trying to push the stool and the thing all at once is the is never gonna work. Oh, but I can see this is an order of operations I should have been doing the whole time. That's so stupid. I can't believe I didn't think to do it that way. I'm just rushing myself in all these unnecessary ways. Whereas now I can absolutely just bail out of here. Yoink. One more crouch just to be totally safe. That's so simple. I'm so stupid. I made that so hard on myself. I am getting that coin, getting that coin from her, from her seems so hard. A new girl called D has just joined us. Please introduce her to the other children. Matron Gladys. I'd be glad to meet her. Just make the introduction. All right, I have to assume this storage room is just stashed way off. I don't know where. I'll go looking. Oh, this room just at the far side here? Oh. Easy. We can see that. I don't think she can. Keep an eye key. Oh, that was not what I was ready for. Spam and spam the button. Spam. <laughs> You're just keeping your. That's so clever. Just keeping your eyes so fixated on one spot. That got me a little bit. Gave me a bit of a chill. Well then. <laughs> There's even a little giggle when you grab the ball. You can't crouch and walk, unfortunately. I'm just spamming. I'm spamming as fast as I can. Is there anything other any other button? Oh god. That wasn't real. It couldn't have been real. I just need some sleep. Your assumption isn't that you're sleeping now, just like I'm I'm probably just tired. <laughs> I think that's all it comes down to. I want these coins. I'm taking a stab at just running, jumping, and grabbing. Going full Mario. That's not Apparently, that's not the secret. Instead, how many stool pushes in this direction can I get away with? Oh god, I activated Push both that. things. It's not what I wanted. Oh, she's distracted. But I can't jump that well. <laughs> One more cycle. One more round of pushing things. This is uh, apparently all I do. This is my number one pastime. Yes, oh, you can't. That's as close as you can step to her. As I'm running by, I'm gonna grab the stool once more. I'm really risking it. There we go. This is what we needed. This is still gonna be so frantic. Uh, hide. <laughs> didn't, didn't quite pull it off. Now's my chance. Make or break. Huh? Yes. Get out of there. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Nine coins. That's how it's done, son. Now, if only I knew what the coins were for. Oh, shit, I have to make it back through this. 
No, if this goes poorly, I'll, it'll all be for nothing. I'll have to start back over prior to having that coin. I can't do it. Not one more time. Billy, I have your dumb, stupid ball. It took so long. I've wasted so much time doing such dumb things. <gasps> I didn't go get the ball. It reset me to... to oh, no. I blame you, Billy. <laughs> Getting the ball isn't a checkpoint. I'll lose so much progress. If I get caught, the stakes have never been higher. Alright, turns out sneaking past her infinitely easier than sneaking past Bev now that I'm now that I'm used to it. I got I got caught. Uh, I insist. I insist on doing this once more. And in the end, we're just gonna find out that once you hold ten coins, it ever so slightly affects your top speed. <laughs> Something like that. Coin reacquired. Damn it. This is impossible because I need to know where the matron is before I enter the room. Shit. Ninth coin in hand. You can kind of see where her head is from the floor above. So through that, you can kind of learn like, oh great, she's in or out of range or, or anything like that. Here's your hey, stupid you ball. Kick him in his shins. This little bastard. I spent like half an hour getting your stupid ball back. <laughs> I hate that Billy. It's the stupid American boy. Let the demons have him. My level of caring for that child has gone from negligible to nil. Ooh. Really boils my sauce. <laughs> That's a reasonable phrase, right? Miss Bo, have you seen Miss Molly? Bo, why are you in here all by yourself? That's what you want to do. Take the possessed doll with you. This will will surely work out well for us. Just cautiously peek around, maybe back at the bedroom, something simple like that. There, oh, the first return special stage. Okay, oh no, 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 no. <laughs> okay, I'm always running, it's just about hopping. I kinda, I dig, I dig the, uh, the music going around with it. Is this kind of like, oh damn it, oh, I'm not gonna make it, I'm not gonna make it if I get hit, hit one more time, I'm screwed. Is it kind of like uh, Freddy Krueger, Friday the 13th? I could have sworn that like there's something about the way his arm is outstretched that it's reminding me of that. But that's so specific. That means there's, oh, that means there's probably six special stages hidden around the game to play then, right? Ooh, at least I'll have another attempt at it. That ninth coin is locked in. Now I know what's coming. So hopefully I won't make any of those really stupid mistakes. Ah, you don't even have to time the duck. Oh, damn it. But the, the tall spikes, those are tricky. But you can just hold the ducking. That's far easier. There's something about the fact that it auto-runs that wigs me out a little bit. Because all of a sudden I feel like, oh, I don't have the control myself. I'm entirely relying on, like, reaction time alone. I can't wiggle it or anything. Dang it. It's a pain in the ass to go back there again, <laughs> but now that I've found it, I feel committed. I want to. I want to know. One third of the way down, flawless so far. That's. I'm. I'm. I'm making a, a good pace then. Just gotta keep this up by keeping my head down for a very extended stretch there. <laughs> Suck my dust, Mr. Hop. Oh no, <laughs> you may be the hare, but I'm the tortoise, but I'm a tortoise that goes to the gym. So not only am I going to win because I'm patient, but also because I'm more fit. It's a double victory for me. You will never stood a chance. So, so long, sucker. I'm, I'm outie. 
Medallion found. What do the medallions mean now? I have medallions to worry about, not just... And the achievement does indicate very specifically that that was the first medallion. So that's, that's worth noting. But uh, what are coins then? What are coins for? Was that the branching point in the game that, I, like, the only time I would have been able to attempt that? Or could I have come to it later? Could I, could I have... Here, I don't know, it's too late to check now, but I, I, I went and got Miss Bow every time, and then went up there every time, so maybe it only appears in that exact step of the sequence immediately after getting Miss Bow. But now that I don't have to worry about that this time, I did see immediately off to the left, someone pops up hey, in the Dee, hall. Have you seen Mo Do you hear it? Dee, the new the girl. Whispering. The evil that rhymes these halls. There's something among us. Among us. <laughs> I'm aware. Vaguely. I mean, I'm aware. Esther does not really seem to be. She doesn't really seem to give it, give a darn. Give a dang. You got me nervous here, though, D. I'm, I'm certainly stepping a lot more cautiously. I, can I, can we just hide? <laughs> just not, just not. Now Isaac is gone. Where was Esther, Isaac before? for goodness sake. We know that Molly and Isaac are hiding somewhere, and they will be dealt with accordingly. Now, stop your worrying and get to bed. Oh man, I didn't even—I didn't even find Mr. Stripe or anything. I oh, <laughs> that could be why. They really love doing that. That's a—that's a big part of their game. You guys, you two—you two suck. Like, come on, just just jump out and eat me already. All three of ya. This is just how you want to play it, huh? Honestly, where is our bedroom? Ah, uh, I think I'm on the wrong floor. Oh, goodness. There was something on screen for a second there. I, I swear is it. I think. Well, there's two of you. Was Mr. Stripe over here? No. So that has me has me wondering. Just going to bed. Just calling it just calling it bedtime. The loop. Well, once again, thank you to Moonbit for the exclusive early look at things. It's very exciting. I'm very I, like thrilled to have this opportunity. I can't wait to look through this game top to bottom for secrets and cool references, things like that. Try and find the different endings, because I know there's at least a couple. And start crafting some larger theories about this universe. Now we can finally start filling in some gaps. Pitch me some stuff down below. Let's start painting this story here. Thank you all so much for watching. See you again soon.